What's up, everybody? My name is Lee Hula, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lee Superfina. Today, we are reviewing Spirit Chronicles, and if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bells to be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Link to those are below. We are reviewing Spirit Chronicles episode 5. We're going to do something a little different compared to other reviews. We're going to do a little recap of the episode and then we're going to talk about things that we found interesting and such. So what happened in the episode was in the last one, episode 4, there was like a bright light, right? So that bright light was actually something to impair Rio's eyes. There were other beast people or demi-humans they were there to check out what he was doing because he was in their forest. And they thought Rio kidnapped Latifa and then they apprehended him. Then things got fixed. You know, there was no more misunderstanding. And then Rio, he went to talk to the elders. And it turns out demi humans is a derogatory term and they are called the people of the spirits. And where they are is Sodora, which is really cool. And it turns out that the tree that Rio saw, that was a world tree. And people who are advanced in spare arts can see it. And when one of the elders found out that Rio could see it, they're like, oh, wow, you know, spare arts. He's like, self-taught. So that gave us an idea that what this episode was going to be about. The so Rio meets up with the other elders. They talk about the situation with Latifa. They agree that Rio is going to stay in Sildura and help Latifa kind of get used to the area so he doesn't get a, so her attachment to him lessens. That way, Rio can, you know, go out and get his revenge on his mom, find a Yugumo and such, etc., etc. Then we learn about Lady Dryas. I say Dryas, it could be Dryas, but I think it's Dryas because Dryad. I believe that is like a wood nymph and such. She is the spirit of the world tree. And she senses a spirit within Rio. And from there we learn why he can't use magic. But why he can use spirit arts too. Or can he use spirit arts because he has a spirit in him? Whatever. We'll talk about that later. And it turns out that he has a human shaped spirit which is special. And Lady Dries doesn't know what that spirit is. There's a mystery there. And then the rest of the episode, they show kind of like a PowerPoint thing, like different scenes with the seasons changing. And uh, I like that because it was, it was showing us how much time was passing. It wasn't like a time jump. And then we got to the part where Lady Dries, she blessed Dora, and then they cut to a scene of you know that hooded guy who was being shady and such the one with like this red stone killing that guy and setting up that whole situation with that outdoor test with the Royal Academy well he showed up again and he was riding a griffin to this place he took an egg he gave it to this guy who wanted to get into a celestial a uh, lion brigade which is sounds it's important something that we're gonna reference to later on he gives an egg to that guy and they're flying over the forest and there are creatures following behind most likely going after that egg and that was the end of the episode the parts that i found really interesting was the part where they're talking about spirit arts and that rio has a human shaped spirit in him now this human shaped spirit this is the pink girl that we saw in episode one the one that kind of fused with rio and put in all the information in his head and such it's her and then in the episode after rio gets apprehended he kind of has like a dream and he's talking to her and it seems like she doesn't know who she is and because she's been fused with rio she knows who he is she called him by his previous world name haruto which is really interesting you would think she would call him rio because that's who he calls himself now so it's like okay why are you calling him haruto then it kind of changes she disappears 
and it changes to Reel's friend from the other world, Michan. So in the opening, we see that they're kind of mirrored each other. I'm wondering if Michan got reincarnated as the the spirit, or are they connected? We don't know what the connection is. Pretty sure it's going to be revealed sometime in this season. We'll find out. If you guys got theories, let me know. And this human-shaped spirit that is within Rio, Lady Dryas is sensing that it's a high-level spirit. Spirits who can get a human form, they're either the second highest class or higher. And Lady Dryas thinks that it's one of the six great spirits. And it's like, oh six six or six okay if the one that's in rio is one of them where are the other five and then uh, lady dryas mentions about the demon divine war divine demon war i believe that's what it's called yes it was the divine demon war i think this war is going to be referenced again and it's going to explain more what happened with the great spirits and demons and I'm thinking demons are going to show up later on in the series. I don't know when, but I kind of want demons to show up. I want more conflict. Maybe, maybe a demon is possessing that hood guy and causing chaos and such. Well, we'll find out. Now, because Rio is in Sodor, where a lot of these people use spirit arts, this is where Rio can know or learn more about spirit arts and how to utilize it. So I really like that they ch showed I'm passing by the different seasons because that also showed Rio is learning about spirit arts and such. And he's also learning about how to survive in the forest like how to hunt and how to identify plants and whatnot. I'm assuming the identify plants part, maybe he didn't do that, maybe he did. They only showed one part of Rio learning about spirit arts, but it showed him flying. So guaranteed that's gonna cut down his traveling by a very short amount. Like he's gonna get places way faster than walking and such. Now I'm wondering, how far is that episode going to be or how close is it going to be for him to reach Yagumo? Is it going to be super close or is he going to get to Yagumo towards the end of the season of this series? I'm not too sure but I am going to base it off of the opening. It looked like he's going to reach Yagumo but it also looks like he's going to encounter more people and there's going to be some battles and yeah. The last thing I want to talk about from this episode is the increase of females Rio's been encountering. Now this sounds like it's going to be the beginning of his harem and such, but I don't want that. I don't want that because I don't want this to be a typical harem anime. I also think it wouldn't be good for his revenge for his mom. Like he's going to go to Yuguma, he's going to find a killer of his mom. I can't him doing that with a bunch of people you know what I mean I don't know how this is going to work I can see if he takes one person maybe Latifah because she's so stealthy and whatnot like Rio's gonna get some intel he's gonna travel all over and it seems like there's like a prejudice against people who aren't humans and all of these new females that he's met are from Sodor who are not humans so I can't traveling with them if you can see it let me know please explain how this is gonna happen and that's my review of spirit chronicles episode 5 if there's anything i didn't talk about and you want to have been mentioned in the video please let me know in the comments if you haven't seen the episode what's your impression from this review if you want to talk outside of youtube there's a discord link is in the description i also stream on twitch.tv slash superfina Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds. Talking about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is a Super Fina channel reviewing your Spirit Chronicles Episode 5. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. 
hope to see you guys there and i will see you on the next video this bump